you can buy an incubator. Um, they can range between eight to twelve hundred dollars. I even seen some around with like twenty five hundred dollars, or you can build your own, like how we did. We built our own. is Mike here with Unforgettable Kennels. Uh, so today's video is going to be some essential supplies that you may need to whip your very first litter or any litter for that matter. So this is not going to be in no particular order. I'm going to just show you some of the things and supplies that we use over here at Unforgettable Kennels. So starting off, we need your feeding kit. Um, grab this before your pups even touch the ground, so feeding tools, syringes, nipples, um, yeah, just in case you're having trouble feeding the pups off of mom, you wanna have you one of these on hand already. Uh, baby bottle, you can use this just in case you're having trouble feeding mom, I mean, um, having trouble feeding the pups, you wanna have like one of these on hand very easy to use. Uh, colostrum from Nature Meat. Uh, just in case mom, again, you having trouble off of mom. Also, I like to have this stuff right here, this puppy support. Um, this has colostrum in it as well. Glucose electrolytes. Uh, I usually like to take a thing, like wet my finger, make sure your hands clean before you do this. Wet your finger, put a little bit in the puppy mouth, um, get a puppy um, some colostrum, follow the instructions on oh, here. You can peel this open and I'll show you the instructions as far as how much to get a puppy, as far as dosage wise. Uh, some probiotic, just in case the puppy having real bad diarrhea, this stuff help with the diarrhea. Um, you can probably find this stuff at Tractor Supply or even at your vet for it, for that matter. Goat's milk. Just in case mom not producing milk again, you have you some goat's milk on hand. Um, you can whip that up, get it to the pup. Puppy scale. Um, you want to weigh your pup. Daily, like what we like to do, we away a pup in the morning. Like we weigh every feeding, but we record the morning um, weight and the last after the last feeding that night weight. Then puppy tend to lose weight, so we really go by the end of the day weight each day to gauge whether the puppy is gaining weight or losing weight. So a puppy scale, you can get a little inexpensive kitchen scale at Walmart. And what you do, you'll get you a bowl or like a bowl or something big enough to put the puppy in. Place it on the scale, cut it on, cut it off, cut it back on, stick the puppy in. It'll show you the weight. You can weigh in ounces or grams with this one. Uh, we like to weigh in grams starting out, then we move to ounces and pounds. This one also weigh pounds. Thermometer, make sure you have a thermometer. You should already have this on hand, but um, when you buy your thermometer, get you two of them. Uh, you can find these inexpensive on Amazon or even uh, Walmart. Two, one for you'll be checking your mom, pup, you know what I'm saying, right before it's time for her, um, before she go on labor or before she have her C-section, you're gonna be checking her temperature. Do not use that same one to check your pup. Get, a, get one specifically designated to the pup. So thermometer, just in case you have to check temperature. Iodine, uh, hold on, let me come back to this one. All right, yeah, so iodine, so what, what we, like I said, this video is in no particular order. We use this to clean the umbilical cord on the pup to help dry out the umbilical cord. And once it fall off, we still use this along with some Q-tips. Mineral oil, just in case you have a constipated pup, you can get them like one cc 
of mineral oil. You'll gauge this on your own. I'm no vet. I can't tell you recommended doses. Matter of fact, I can't even tell you to use this stuff, but we use this to help um, lactic, the, it's like a laxative. So we use this mineral oil or something if you're um, baby soap, if you're doing a, a eczema, you can also use the mineral oil with a syringe, constipated pup, you know, a little bit warm water or mineral oil or warm soapy water, Vaseline, squirt up the, you know, the back end of the pup. And normally within a couple of seconds, you'll see that stuff start to run out. Snap the scope, just in case you have a sick puppy, you need to listen to the heartbeat of the pup or whatever, uh, one of them. I'm not sure if I said notebook already. So notebook, when you check in a puppy weight, you can record that stuff or record daily activities on your pups. Bam. And D ointment. Vaseline. Um, if you have a pup with a raw behind, you can put some Vaseline on it. If it's like bad, bad, put a little A and D ointment on it. That should help you out. Right water. So we use right water just in case we got fussy pups. You know what I'm saying? They could have like irritation with the stomach, especially like if they eating off goat's milk and that mom's milk, they can be a, a little fussy. So we give them a little bit of right water to help ease whatever, you know, issues they may be having. So we use this for like puppies that's whining constantly, not like a hungry whine or if the pup may be too hot, that type of whine. But if they fussy, fussy and whining constantly, we'll um, give them a little bit of right water. A nail clipper. So as your puppies start to grow, their nails gonna to start to grow. They be on mom, sucking, eating, and potentially scratching mom. That make mom uncomfortable and mom not really wanting to feed the pups. So what we do, we just clip the tip of the nail, the little tip, start to curl over, you should see. That part would be more white or more like whatever. Just clip the little curve off, bring that down a little bit. Don't go too deep, just the tip. And um, that should, that should um, smooth things out. And I think that's enough of this table. So this guy right here, something to bring the pups home in. So we have used this before, but I'm gonna get to another piece of equipment here in a second. I'll show you what we use now. But um, the eggshell uh, pad, keep the puppy from getting uh, flat chested. Heating pad, we took the heating pad out the um, heating pad wrap, but what you do, Put a little blanket on top, heating pad under the bottom, have that, and you can have that kind of like that. And this is enough air inside of this for the pup. Uh, you got to think about it, they don't need much air, their lungs is not fully developed yet. Um, they develop, but not fully developed yet. They're just starting to get exposed to air. They're coming out, you know, like a water incubator, per se. And speaking of incubators, which brings me to our next thing. Uh, so this here is a traveling incubator. So it can hook to your car charger or um, it also got a plug that hook to the wall. We got this from uh, my breeder supply. And uh, yeah, it works well. So they have... Uh, they may have some on a site that's slightly used or whatever, but still function and work you know, as, as new. And that'll be a discounted one. And right here, um, distilled water. We use the distilled water for a number of things. Um, we mix the goat's milk with the distilled water. And if we're using our incubator here, and uh humidifier we also put the distilled water in the humidifier to help the water you know what I'm saying be clean y'all won't um 
to put like regular tap water in your humidifier it can back it up and a lot of calcium and all that stuff that's in the tap water can build up in that and cause that not to work properly and which bring us to our incubator here so this one uh, you can buy an incubator uh, they can range between eight to twelve hundred dollars I even seen some around about like twenty five hundred dollars or you can build your own like how we did we built our own a lot of people use the um, heat lamp but we did a little heat fan and I got that tie here to keep this handle from falling back on top of the fan but we did a regular heat fan you can get this from off of Amazon I think it was about like forty dollars or something like that thirty or forty dollars um, temperature control so we plug the we don't plug our fan in the temperature control we just plug the um we plug the heat fan and the only reason i just plug that is to get the wire out the way we about to pack this stuff up but we plug our uh, fan directly in here and that's for the um we constantly keep air flowing in there uh humidifier uh, depending on what area you're in if the humidity is high it helps bring the humidity down but if your humidity is low you won't even need this thing uh, cooling fan so the cooling fan is the you know just keep the air circulating in there once this heat control get to the desired temperature it shut it off the fan cool bring it down the temperature this come back on back and forth back and forth I do another video um, just on a humidifier and suction machine. So we got a suction machine right here. Um, just in case the puppet aspirate have milk coming out the nose, we'll cut this on. This is a half power suction machine. And we just put our thumb right here on this hole. Uh, put this at the puppy nose of course I'm holding a uh, camera with one hand but my free hand I put this on the um, I'll be holding the puppy you know what I'm saying hit the nose hit the mouth and um, yeah that's for like if you got milk coming out the pu um, puppy nose or some built up mucus that you need to um, break up and pull out and if the puppy aspirate um, chances are you need you one of these. I will definitely buy one of these before my first letter and forbid that you never ever have to use it, but you will have it on hand anyway. Definitely get you an oxygen um, generator. So this machine right here generate oxygen. Um, normally you need a prescription to get one of these. So if you know someone that has some type of breathing issues. They may have one, but you can find these things on Craigslist, Marketplace, um, and even at k Repro, they sell them to breeders. But if you're just going into a medical store trying to get one of these things, you gotta have a prescription to get one of these things. And, I'm trying to see. Oh, a nebulizer. Nebulizer, just in case you have to give a breathing breathing treatment uh have one of these on hand and you can also want to have you some dewormer on hand so prime rental um they also i think uh nemex make make a brand like this but you can get more if you buy this one uh just the active ingredient that's in it and uh safeguard goats dewormer goat dewormer it's the same thing as the safeguard dog dewormer but it's a little cheaper a little light on, lighter on your pocket and you can find this one in a thousand ml i think we pay around about like 150 160 for this don't quote me you can find it on amazon i mentioned heating pad but as you can see little man is on the heating pad uh blankets you can get these blankets from Walmart. Uh, we tend to throw our blankets away after we use them. We don't put them in our washing machine, nor do we take it to the laundromat and put it in a washing machine that someone 
who don't have a washing machine at washing machine at home have to wash clothes and I just think that's nasty. These blankets is about like three dollars a piece from Walmart, so we tend to buy about like ten to fifteen at a time. And as we use them, we try to clean it as best as we can without putting it in the washing machine. But if it get too too nasty, we just discard it. All right, guys, I forgot to mention baby wipes and puppy pads. Uh, make sure you have plenty of baby wipes and puppy pads. It's gonna be a lot of poop and a lot of wiping. So make sure you have these two as well. I forgot to mention that. So I'm gonna add this part into the video. All right. Yeah, so I hope um, this video won't too long for you guys and what we showed you as far as what we use, the web ad letters. Um, if you find this video informative, Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, comment down below if there's some things that you think that we was missing for us showing. And yeah, we can learn from each other. Let's build. Happy weapon. Good luck to you on your first letter. Once again, my name is Mike. For any puppet info or future pups, make sure you contact Unforgettable Kennels at 804-572-1236. Have a blessed one. Peace.